Welcome to Gadget Guide USA. Thanks for watching my spill-free coffee mug product review. Uh, it's manufactured by RDR. As you can see, I already have a couple here. Uh, I've already done a product review on a very similar one. Uh, so if you're a subscriber, you probably recognize this. Uh, pretty much they're the exact same from uh, the neck down. Uh, the only difference is, is this top, uh, but I'm gonna do a full product review. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is the box they both came in. Uh, as you can see, it has some pictures of it. Uh, apparently they're available in red. Uh, not, I, don't, I don't have red in this particular model. As you can see, I have blue and black here. And uh, you saw how easy they were to pick up, but they still don't spill, so neat. We'll get to that. Uh, it goes over the, some of the stuff. It tells you how to use it. If you lift it straight up, it lifts normally. If you push it or try to lift it from the side or anything like that, uh, the spill-proof thing activates. Uh, don't put in the dishwasher, uh, don't use bleach, don't beat it up, don't hit it with a hammer. I guess, you know, it goes over all the basics of that. As you can see, it's kind of a spill-proof thing. Uh, one of the down, we'll go ahead and lift it up, and as you can see, the bottom is just the suction, uh, and it doesn't work if you lift it straight up. Uh, but if you tilt it to the side, apparently just pushing on that activates the suction, uh, and everything works. Uh, the downside to the, the suction spill-free part is that it doesn't work on every surface. Uh, as I, you know, I normally film on this, uh, this uh, film felt or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it does not stick to that uh, at all. Uh, but I pulled out my uh, uh, the side of my Mac server here as a sticky surface, and it works great. I've tested it on linoleum, painted wood, uh, a television screen. I actually, you can stick it there, and it'll hold even to sideways with a little bit of water in it. Uh, uh, my desk, uh, some plastic, uh, pretty much anything with a nice smooth non-porous surface uh, will work. It doesn't necessarily have to be metal, uh, but I mean, the non-stick feature is pretty impressive. I mean, at first I was like, eh. So it actually has two spill-proof features. It has A, the suction cup bottom, which I've showed you, and then it has a very tight locking lid here. Uh, and as you can see, there's the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is very comfortable to drink out of, uh, and it has a small rubber plug here. And we're going to go ahead and, I mean, the construction is pretty good. It's it's straight plastic. It looks smooth, nice, and sleek. Uh, the top is plastic, and this little grip is rubber. Uh, the suction is rubber, and that little plug is rubber. Uh, so we'll go ahead and unspin it there. Uh, I'm not sure if the camera is going to show it because it's kind of recessed deep in there. Uh, but that rubber plug actually protrudes through and provides a really tight seal. Uh, it doesn't leak at all. Uh, I've been drinking uh, coffee yesterday morning and uh, water pretty much all day yesterday. Uh, and uh, everything works great. Uh, the lid works great. It's spill proof. I turned it upside down. Uh, so after you open it up, the lid looks good. The first thing you're going to find is this thing. It's supposed to be a tea strainer. I'm going to have to call it absolutely worthless. Uh, all the tea that I use is too fine to be filtered out by this. And on top of that, if I just had tea in there, even if I did have some large leaf tea, which I've never seen, but probably exists, um, even if I had some large leaf tea and just poured hot water over it, uh, the tea is going to be so weak uh, that it's not going to do very well. Uh, maybe you could shake it up or something. I don't know. I'm not a very, very good uh, tea guy, but I'm going to say this is absolutely worthless to me. Maybe if you can figure out a good use for it, let me know. I'm getting rid of it. Uh, but inside, you're just going to find your standard plastic mug. Uh, you can actually see by the thickness, it's actually uh, double wall insulated. Uh, it kept my coffee, I mean, hot for a good at least 20 minutes while I was drinking it. You know, I didn't time it out, but I mean, uh, the thin wall insulation was definitely uh, doing its job. Uh, but so overall, I mean, it, it, it works very well, uh, has some value there. Uh, the spill proof feature, I mean, it's great. I mean, if you accidentally tilt it, I mean, these things aren't going to fall over if they're sitting on your desk. Uh, the, one of the main problems is, is you can't put it in the dishwasher. If you put these in the dishwasher, you'll learn it the hard way. Your cup is ruined. Uh, first off, uh, this suction thing right here does not hand up to high temperatures, so it, even though it won't like melt and look deformed, it just loses that suction ability. I really don't know why. Don't put it in the dishwasher. Uh, I didn't actually try to put the lid in the dishwasher, but the bottom part did, and this got totally ruined and won't suction anymore. Uh, so don't put it in the dishwasher. Uh, that'd be con number one. One, it doesn't work on every surface. I understand it's not going to work on cloth and felt. Uh, but it works great on any smooth surface, linoleum, tile, desk, plastic, painted wood. Uh, tested them all, even glass. Uh, worked very well. And uh, the third downside would be this uh, tea strainer, worthless. Um, the upsides are going to be uh, spill proof, double spill proof, A with the suction bottom and with the top. Uh, it's double insulated, so I definitely like that. Uh, and it actually looks pretty cool, and it has this cool rubber carry handle, so I do like that. Effortless to lift up. 
you know, won't spill. Uh, so at the end of the day, definitely a great product, high quality. Uh, definitely going to enjoy using this at home. Hope you enjoyed my product review today. Comments are always welcome at the bottom of the page. Subscriptions are always appreciated. Thank you. And if you have any specific questions, comments, or suggestions, please email me at gadgetguideusa at gmail.com. Thank you for your time.